Hey there everybody and welcome back. For those of you that are looking to create a social slash sharing app without code, stay tuned. I'm going to be walking you through the basics in today's video. Now this will function as a web app primarily. However, you can export this as a mobile application as well. So before we get started, don't forget to like and subscribe and check out the channel for new content. Now this is the sample application that I am going to be walking you through. I've already deployed this as a web app. Now this is a somewhat technical process. So if you're interested, you have a couple of choices. You can purchase this file to import into AppGyver, and it's literally this exact file that I'm working with right now. So you'll see all of these pages, everything's already built out, so you don't have to follow this series. But for those of you that would prefer to follow the series, you can. Now, for those of you that prefer to follow the series, just bear in mind that I'm going to be using pages that have already been built so that those who have actually purchased the app can walk through the process and see exactly what I'm seeing. Now, if you want to build this app by yourself, you're going to be able to follow everything that I'm doing. Just bear in mind that all you need to make use of is this add a new page. So when you log into AppGyver and you create an app for the first time, you're gonna get a blank view and you can just add pages as you need and link them by adding in buttons and using the open page option. Now, in this case, Everything I'm going to be doing, you can just build a new page and add your components by dropping them over. If you're unfamiliar with AppGyver basics, check out my channel for some more content or go on over to codelessfix.com to take those initial steps to learn the basics. Once you've done that, return here. And again, you can build this out with me. As you see every page being built, I'm going to walk through the functionality for each item. So if you feel like you're a little bit behind, pause the video, add everything that you don't already see. In this case, this Firebase authentication page will mostly have the content by default by AppGyver. But anytime you see something that in the video that you don't already have, pause the video, take the time to add the components, and then resume the video and go through the functionality and build it out with me. Now I've made the app very affordable, and I wanna show you how you can get to the demo or purchase the app, and then we'll jump into the series. So when you go to codelessfix.com, you can find the social or sharing app link. And then there is an app demo. When you select that, it'll take you to the demo and you can actually test the app out. And if you want to buy your copy, you can click buy now, head over to the store, find the copy. I'm currently selling it for $15. The price could change, but the idea is it's very, very simple. You click add to bag. When you check out, you will get an email link. It expires within 24 to 48 hours. You can download it and import the file straight into AppGyver. Now, giving you a quick demo of the actual social sharing app. If we have an invalid email, it will not log us in. And if we have a verified email, it will allow us to log in. Now, when we get into the application, you'll see we have a couple of choices. We are going to be walking through changing almost every feature of this app, but we have three main tabs here, which don't really navigate anywhere. It's just general data that can be displayed for users. And you can go down here and add items by clicking on this button. Now, when we go over to the coffee cup, as it's basically taking on some elements of the social sharing app that I made before, we have four choices. We have topics one through five, categories one through five, and ratings one through five. I know this looks kind of boring, but the idea is these are customizable. You're setting this to whatever you want it to be. We also have the post option where you can actually make a post. We have discussion boards, which I'll go over in a second, and then we have your actual profile. Now, I like the discussion boards. This is something that's a little bit new. So the idea is when you click add a board, we have three boards. Now, when we actually create a board, you would just name it. And then if you want, you can input a URL for a chat and click start clear chat. Now, if one's already been created, then you can just enter in the name of the board and then click save. The idea here is users can have their own boards and share them with their friends, but it's not accessible to everyone on the app. So the overall idea here is if I wanted to start this board here, I can go in and I can see the content of the board. But if I decide, you know what, I want to go into a different board, then you can go back to the home page and click update boards and change the name. Let's just say we want, let's just say this is a board. And when we click save, 
and typically you can just navigate out and you have a new board and this one's empty. So the idea is you can now post content in this board and then you'll be able to have conversations with friends. So it's, it's again, the board is specific to the name and it's specific only to the people who know that name. So that's the general idea. Now, a couple of enhancements since the last video I did. First, the posts are going to be in order with the newest at the top. You'll see you have a much more attractive interface, although still not the best. I'll show you how you can do some updates there. And also, it's a little bit more secure. So now you have to verify your email before you can log in, whereas previously it was open to anyone with an account. So let's go ahead and jump in and get started. So this series, I'm going to break it up and try to make these videos easier to digest. So that's the overview of the application and just kind of the general process. So again, you can follow along from scratch or you can purchase the actual application from codelessfix.com. But the next video, we will get started with the sign-in page and then we'll keep going.